is Gail. Welcome to my front room and welcome to my channel. <laughs> so one of the things that I really feel drawn to do um, as part of an ongoing thing with, with my YouTube channel is to track the cycles, okay? And some of these cycles are weeks, some of them are a month, some of them are a year, some of them are half year, some of them are quarterly. I don't know how this is going to pan out, but here we are with kind of what will be the first one that I've created. And what I want to do is I want to track my way through the current lunar cycle. Okay, so we started with new moon over the last couple of days, new moon in Gemini, and this cycle is going to take me through until the 17th of July. So I just want to create like a diary log of that journey of this current cycle so that I have something to look back on to see what this new moon created for me, what I allowed into my life, what I invited into my life, what my up levels were, what my learnings were and all that kind of stuff, just so that I've got a documented place for it all. And I think that one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to record a short video. It might not be short because I'm very good at talking. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a video um, later this week as I reflect on the solstice. So at December, at winter solstice, I set goals and I put intentions in place. And I'm going to reflect on those and I'm going to see how that cycle, how that six month cycle has impacted and, and kind of taken me on a path towards those goals. So I really believe that, or, or how can I word this? So I can see distinctly right now how when I'm setting intentions, how they are coming into fruition. And I can really see it very, very clearly when I look back over the last six months or so. Whereas prior to that, I was aware of them, I was using them, I was harnessing the energy, but I don't think I was necessarily reflecting back well enough to actually see how the the strange kind of circumstances that, that come up in life or the things that happen that, you know, we're not ex not necessarily expecting, the, the new changes, the way things shift. Um, I've never really kind of noticed how that is actually linked to the intentions that I set until recently. And recently, I can really see it in action. So obviously, by seeing it in action, I have like the proof that universal energy is a thing that when we set these intentions and allow, you know, we toss the coin is the phrase that, that kind of, it really kind of vibes with me. You know, we go to, we go to Trevi Fountain <laughs> on my mind. Cause I, I went there earlier this year. It was amazing um, being in Rome and we stayed quite close to the Trevi Fountain, but when when you go to the Trevi Fountain, you make a wish, you throw your coin into the fountain, you smile, you enjoy the moment, you enjoy the crowds, you enjoy the beauty of the fountain, and you take a deep breath and you walk away and you enjoy your time in, in, in Rome and you enjoy your days and you don't necessarily think anymore about that wish that went with the coin into the fountain. And that is kind of how intentions work. We make an intention, we toss it into the fountain, and then we go and live our happiest, best, most um, joyful lives that we can, just a life that feels good. And we trust that that coin, that wish, that intention is set into motion and that un the universe is gonna bring that into our reality. So, <laughs> since I'm rambling a little bit, so today we're in, we're, we're kind of, we're moving out of that new moon energy and I wanted to just log in my new moon stuff before I got too far away from the new moon. So this is where I'm at. So I've been, first of all, the first thing I do is I, I do some research into the new moon in Gemini. What does that mean? Because I'm not very much, I'm not 
an astrological person. I'm not kind of into astrology. I'm into human design. I'm into quantum physics. I'm into law of attraction, universal energies, but not necessarily into kind of astrology. So it's nice for me to just do a little bit of a, a research, a little bit of a deep dive into kind of what's going on um, through this cycle. So I just want to log that here. <laughs> You'd have thought I'd have made the effort to just make sure my makeup wasn't going to annoy me. My hair wasn't going to annoy me when I'm live, but I'm like, I'm looking at my hair and I'm thinking, I'm not live when I'm recording the video, but I'm looking at my hair and thinking, wow, that looks a mess today. I'm looking at my makeup and I'm like, oh, your lipstick isn't quite right. Oh my God. Right. Park that for now, girl. <laughs> right. Okay. So I got some notes about the new moon in Gemini. So I just want to log those here first of all. And then when I pull this video together at the end of this cycle, um, we might be able to see how some of that stuff has impacted my life over this last cycle. Oh, I'm quite interested to see what actually comes, comes through. Okay, so um, I use lots of different sources um, for my information and kind of pull them together into kind of like one thing. And that's what, that's what this is. So um, I can't really give... Um, any kind of credit to any one person for, for the information that I've got to got got here now. So I'm just going to read my notes um, and we'll see um, where this takes us for the next lunar cycle. So um, this next lunar cycle is about ins inspiration and change creation. Um, it can feel like there's two people living in your head, like the indecisive energy and uncertainty where one minute you're like, right, this is the answer. This is the thing. And then literally kind of two minutes later, you're like, oh God, no, it's not. No, it's not. It can feel like there's just like those, those two, that indecisiveness. Um, you know, you'll be quest questioning everything that serves you. What to find out what your real truth is. This cycle could create an overwhelm of ideas and the thought, the, the, the kind of instruction around that is to brain dump, you know, as much as you can into some, into a place. Doesn't mean you need to take action, just brain dump all the bits and pieces because it may be that next cycle, one of those is really important. Just get, you know, you've got this inspiration, you've got this, this change creation, brain dump it, brain dump it. And what's really interesting is the reason I'm here and recording this right now is because it's one of the things that has come up for me. And already I can feel this energy of lots of ideas coming through. I have felt that ever since Saturday, which was like as the new moon energy came in. So it's really interesting that I'm kind of reading that now going, oh my goodness, I can already feel that. So the new moon in Gemini, this, this cycle, it's all about words, communication, thoughts, social media and the media is important in this. Um, it's, it's kind of, it's going to give us this, this, this vibe of seeing things with a new perspective, seeing with new eyes. Um, I've written down, focus on thoughts becoming things and really bringing that to the forefront of how we live life and to become more disciplined in the way that we think. Um, because in any kind of method of creation, it always starts with a thought. Um, so it's, right, I think I'm going to do this, right? So, you know, what are the steps? You know, I think I'm going to invent um, a mode of transport that has two wheels. You know, it kind of, it starts there. It starts with that moment of inspiration, that moment of a light bulb moment. And for most, I, I say quite often that daydreaming is a superpower and it really is because if we could, didn't daydream, if we couldn't conjure up these, these amazing ideas, you know, we wouldn't create them. So daydreaming really is a superpower and daydreaming is kind of the energy around the new moon or this is where I kind of tell, um, you know, the ladies that I work with to go, you know, go into daydream mode, rest, relax, stop, stop the constant uptake of information, stop the TV, stop um, music, songs with lyrics, um, stop reading, stop social media, make quiet time so that you can, you can hear your own thoughts, you know, so that you can daydream, so you can 
apologies, I totally forget that this particular video that I'm using, this particular app, cuts off after 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but actually that's a really good warning to me because I can wrap it on for ages. So it's actually a really good warning to, warming, warning for me. But daydreaming is your superpower. Okay. Um, <sighs> anything else? Anything else? Um, again, talking about this, I've got more notes about this duality. Allowing yourself room, wiggle room. Not being so dead set. So when you get an idea that comes through, you know... Over this next cycle, you're probably going to question that quite quickly. So allow yourself wiggle room. Don't be totally 100% committed to anything. Um, you know, are you making wise choices? You know, um, be fluid and adaptable. That's about it, really. So the Gemini energy is very logical. It's a very kind of like, you know, facts being aware of the facts, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I think that's about all I've got down with these notes to share. Um, so, I'll move on to, I'll move on to my new moon intentions. So, I've changed things up ever so slightly this, this time, um, which is one of the reasons why it's interesting to kind of log it here, and that is that I've kind of brought in a little bit of what I feel is projector energy. Um, you, so when we talk about intentions, the usual process with intentions is the I am. Um, I am confident, I am happy, I am this, I am that. And I talk a lot about feelings because feelings really are the energy of the universe. So you know, our, our feelings, our emotions is our energy. It is the energy, it's the, it's the frequency, it matches the frequency, it calls things in. It's like your aura, your energy, it's, it's what creates, okay? It's what creates your life. So I started to shift over my intentions to literally um, thinking about the feeling as opposed to thinking about like, Oh, I want to earn X amount of money by the end of the month. I want to lose X amount of pounds by the end of this cycle. I want to, you know, instead of being like that, I started to move this around to, to feelings. So, you know, if I want to, if I want to feel um, like I have more than enough energy, um, sorry, more than enough wealth, more than enough money by the end of the month, I want to feel... Um, lighter I want to feel healthier so I started to change my intentions around to feelings a few months ago and I found it works so much better for me than actually having like a a, a target to hit a feeling just works so much better now I'm a human design projector and that kind of links to that um I'm not here to I'm not here to generate I'm not here to create I'm not here to build anything um so actually being like focusing on what feeling I want to create, um, what feeling I want to feel for the next lunar cycle really works for me. It kind of like, you know, ah, okay, I like this, I like this. So, okay, I have an infinite purpose. Now, an infinite purpose is something that I got from Susie Ma, um, who is the founder of Tropic Skincare. And Tropic Skincare, I am an ambassador for, um, that's what, there's a certain glow that all the Tropic skincare consultants have. <laughs> you can see it right now. Um, so if you enjoy kind of glowing skin, then maybe you need to have a look at some of my skincare um, products or get into my group on Facebook or follow me on Instagram, whatever, because that's where I talk a little bit more about the skincare. But um, Susie Ma introduced me to having an infinite purpose because Tropic, of course, have an infinite purpose. And an infinite purpose is something that gets built on every single day. There isn't technically an ending. It just grows and grows and grows infinitely, okay? So I created my own infinite purpose. And my infinite purpose in my life is to live a happier, healthier, more empowered, more abundant and energetically led extraordinary life. OK, so that is um, that is my infinite purpose. So that is my constant kind of right. That's what I'm going for. That's what I want. That's what I want. So my next lunar cycle, first of all, I kind of 
I did my little ritual. I played um, binaural beats linked to the new moon. Um, I sat quietly with a glass of wine. I do like a glass of wine when I'm doing my rituals. I sat quietly with a glass of wine and just, you know, a few deep, deep breaths, let my mind um, kind of slow down from the constant overthinking, the constant processing and allowed some kind of, in, well, intentions for the month ahead to come through. So I'll read through those. So I invite more health into my life. I invite more wealth into my life. I invite time that stretches to make life easy and flowful. I invite joy and sunshine, connection and love. I invite weightlessness and ease. I invite success. I invite knowledge and creativity. I invite the creation of my e-magazine that's coming. I invite followers to my social media platforms. I invite customers of my Tropic products. I invite work projects that light me up. I invite excess inches and pounds to release. I invite there to that <laughs> can't read my own writing I invite those that see and recognize me that's a very projector statement I invite all that is meant for me I invite the feeling of space and rest of beautiful rituals and I invite collaboration and then the way I, I bring in a little bit of access consciousness um, just to end my my intentions. Um, so, and I destroy and uncreate anything that doesn't allow that, right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyond. So, though that is kind of the vibe for this next lunar cycle. And as I started to read it, I did realise that, yes, I have shifted again in the way that I do my intentions. I wanted to bring that more projectiveness into it. So that's why I am inviting, I'm inviting health into my life because the projector um, energy or lifestyle really is to just enjoy every single day of their life and allow life to come to them, allow life to flow to them. So I, I really wanted to kind of bring that in when I sat and wrote those rituals, those intentions last night. If you are someone, if you are, you know, we're interested in what I was saying about bringing the feelings in. So what I, what I would do with that is I would think about what, what I want to create. Because when you want to like lose weight, for example, when you want to lose five pounds, 10 pounds this month, you don't want, the goal isn't actually to lose the weight, you're losing the weight for a purpose. You're losing the weight so that your joints feel better, so that you feel better, so that you feel healthier. And actually, if you could feel healthier, or uh, if you could get to a size 10 without losing 10 pounds, you, you would, right? The 10 pounds isn't the goal. The 10 pounds is what you think will give you the feeling that you're looking for. I'm gonna just move on to another video. So one of my mentors taught me this. So. Let's say that's where you are, okay? And let's say oh, that's where you want to be. That's how you want to feel in your life and in yourself, okay? There's a stepping stone here, okay? So that stepping stone could be an amount of money. It could be an amount of weight loss, whatever it might be. So you're here and you're like, oh, I know I want to lose a stone in weight. So that's your goal, okay? Your stone in weight. But actually, that's not the goal. That's just the way that you're seeing the goal will unfold. The goal is actually to fit into your genes. It's to feel good within yourself, blah, 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 blah. That doesn't matter. That to that is what matters. So what is that feeling that you're wanting that the 10, pound, that the 10 pounds, the stone, whatever it might be, is going to give you? And focus on that feeling. So one of the cycles that I'm going to speak about at some point, I'm going to record some point, is... The cycle that I've gone through since I decided I wanted to feel super healthy every day, okay? And that's created a cycle. And I'm going to talk about that at some point. But that is kind of the vibe. So instead of, instead of me saying, I want to lose weight and fit into a size 12 again, 
you know? That isn't actually the goal. The goal is to feel super healthy, to feel super vibrant, to have loads of energy so that my jo joints don't ache anymore. Um, I want to feel good when I'm picking my clothes out of the wardrobe. I want to be able to express myself wearing styles that I want to, I want to wear, you know? That's the goal. The physical, whether I lose a stone or not, doesn't actually matter to the goal. That's the goal. So when you're setting your intentions for this lunar cycle or for any lunar cycle, use the feeling, okay? And use the word create, build, um, that kind of vibe. So I create the feeling of super health, this cycle. I create the feeling of complete um, vibrancy, vitality. I create the feeling of abundant energy within my body, you know? Use that. Really focus in on the energetics, on the feelings, on the emotions. Okay, so that's pretty much where I'm at right now. So we've got the, we've kind of talked about the goals. There were some more goals. So I woke up on Sunday morning and I was very much in a doing energy. And when I was in that doing energy, I hadn't kind of let my mind settle or anything. And I did fly some goals out. Um, and then later on in the day, they didn't feel right because I knew I wasn't in the right energy when I, when I set them. But I'm going to reflect on them and I might bring them in at some point because I know like one of the things in there was I want a dishwasher. I want a dishwasher. We used to have a dishwasher. It broke. Now we have to wash pots. And once you've cut and it's, it's like it's not a, it's not a big deal. But it's just a niggle. It's just a niggle in my life. I just want to be able to put everything in a dishwasher, shut it up and let it do its thing again. Um, but our dishwasher, it, we have um, where it fits. There's like um, a space. Oh, I need a space. So the back of the dishwasher needs to come down and it needs to go like that. So it's a very specific dishwasher because it can't have a completely flat back. And I just realized how frustrated I was over the weekend at not having this dishwasher. So it was one of the things that I put down. Um, I also put down that I wanted to um, sell 500 pounds worth of Tropic products in the next lunar cycle. And then later in the day, I realized that I had actually limited myself because why? Why have I limited myself with 500, you know? What if the universe was preparing to give me a 1,000, 2,000 sales this year? Um, sorry, this lunar cycle. I've literally just limited myself by deciding on 500. So, you know, that's, that's in here. You know, I invite customers for my Tropic products. I've taken away any, any limitations around what I want to achieve. Um, yes, there's no carrot, as in... I want 500 pounds worth of sales, but I actually do trust the universe that it will bring me what's meant for me over this lunar cycle. So I invite customers for Tropic. I invite customers to come to me to, um, you know, get hold of these amazing products. So that's where I'm at. Um, that's all I've got to share at this stage. Um, so I will be back. Um, as we work our way through these, these lunar stages, these lunar phases. And um, at some point, I will pull this all together in one video. Um, and we'll see. We'll see what the whole transition was. Sure, it's going to be quite exciting. <laughs>